killing this stupid angel has been completely impossible. I've tried throwing units at it, and the angel just completely decimates them. So I tried throwing even more units at it, and like, even more, and like, just like all the units. And it didn't matter, the angel just shred the army like a hot knife through butter. It's, it's really unfair, it's just disgusting. So then we tried to get cute and get like ballistas and do like really crazy things. Like just try and smack it in the face as many as humanly possible. But in the end, they too proved to be worse than useless. Like, where are they even shooting? I have no idea. We tried using different god powers. I couldn't even affect it with gravity. Nothing. It doesn't float. It doesn't move. It doesn't do anything. It just hovers there, immune to everything. We went so far as to shoot it in the face with ballista bolts. And I mean a humongous amount of ballista bolts. Because when you're point blank range, shooting something in the eye with ballista bolts, you'd think you'd finally find a way to destroy an angel godlike thing. But in all honesty, I don't think it has a hitbox because it just kind of like ignored them and did nothing. So we had to get creative. Because as you can tell, we just kept losing. I went and grabbed a whole bunch of god units from the workshop hoping to find something to kill this thing. And no matter how many workshop creations I summoned, they all met the same grisly fate as the Seraphim. This high angel of god is immortal, it's immune, nothing can seem to kill it. Even an army of Billy, the hero of Tabs, did not seem to be enough to destroy the Seraphim. I mean, this is the very same Billy that's able to kill the One Punch Man Saitama himself, and all of these beams hitting the angel? Nothing. Not a angel walks it off, shakes it off like a dog shaking off a bunch of water. The Seraphim doesn't care. And then the Billy stops shooting their beams, and then the Seraphim proceeds to just annihilate the entire army. I even summoned one One Punch Man, a single Saitama, and he, well, that happens. It's gross. So I summon even more Saitamas. A small army. Some of them teleport and actually manage to do something to the Seraphim. The Seraphim actually moved for the first time. But in the end, the Seraphim continues to annihilate them. So I summoned the most ridiculous pile of Saitamas you had ever seen. And when all of these One Punch Men decide to use their super speed and attack the Seraphim, the results are stunning. The results are pure magic, as you can see. Wait for that moment to occur with the lag. Well, that didn't work. My game's crashing out. Goodbye, Tabs. And there you go. The moment the Saitamas use their speed and attack the Seraphim from above. Uh, but the Seraphim doesn't care. Just kind of shakes it off and proceeds to destroy all the One Punch Men. One Punch Men are not powerful enough to defeat the Seraphim, even if the Seraphim seemingly disappeared. In the end, it's still a blue victory. So I was losing hope. I was getting depressed. What could possibly defeat this unkillable thing if not even the One Punch Man could? Then I had a funny idea. If we go back to the modding Discord and we went to the modding website, there was a mod called Pop Culture. And inside were all sorts of characters like Sans, Thanos, and more. This is my last hope. The final effort I have is to use Thanos and the Infinity Gauntlet to potentially snap the Seraphim out of existence. Could the Infinity Stones kill a Seraphim? It's a great question. So first things first, we need the Seraphim to have some teammates with only one opponent. You can't really snap it. We need to snap half. So we'll summon uh, uh, a couple bards, just some bards there. Right now, there is a 50-50 chance that we're going to attempt to snap the Seraphim. So if I start the fight, the Seraphim instantly kills Thanos. That's a problem. I need to summon distractions. Let's move Thanos towards the back over here, okay? I'm gonna try and move him back here, and then in his stead, I'm gonna summon a bunch of hobbits. Sacrificial halflings. Who? <laughs> What's the worst that's gonna happen to them? Now we have Seraphim and three bards for the snapping, and sacrificial halflings, and a Thanos. The halflings are being shot at, and I'm waiting. Wait, hold on. There's only two halflings over there. Uh, I I'm confused. Okay, no, 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 the Seraphim didn't get snapped. One of the halflings seems to be missing. Let's try that again. Verify that there are three bards, Benny, Lenny, and Fenny. All three bards are here. Let's begin the fight and see which one of these, and one of them gets ghosted, but the Seraphim did not. That's not 50%, let's try it again. Here are the Benny brothers, and one gets ghosted, the Seraphim did not again. Third time's a charm, one of the Bennies gets ghosted, the Seraphim is still standing there, and it seems that we don't have. 
What? There it is. We've done it. Hey, was it was it the time stone? Was it the infinity snap? They snap it a second time. What? That was awesome. You can kill the seraphim with Thanos. Yes.